Deron Payne has deleted all of his Washington football team images from Instagram. This comes after an altercation between Payne and Jonathan Allen during the game Sunday night between the Washington football team and the Dallas Cowboys. While both players told the press afterwards that the fight was, well, merely between brothers, and what happened was basically out of frustration. Could there be signs that Payne may want out of Washington? Now, Payne has been one of the most solid players for the Washington football team this season. He's recorded four and a half sacks so far in 2021 with 53 tackles and 23 assists. So if Payne wants out of Washington, could there be signs of a bigger issue within the team? We all know Ron Rivera is a great leader, solid coach, and a guy that, well, players generally want to play for. But there are major issues with this defensive unit. A unit that was supposed to be Washington's strong point. And while the defense has greatly underperformed this season under Jack Del Rio, there are signs of frustration amongst the players. And a 56-14 drubbing at the hands of the Dallas Cowboys? Well, it's not just embarrassing, but it shows major problems with an NFL team when they're, when they're blown out in this manner. Now, simply put, Washington cannot afford to have its strongest aspect torn apart. Despite their struggles early on and, well, of course the injury to Chase Young, the defensive front is still where the team draws its strength. And if Washington starts losing players on that defensive front, this team could be in major trouble. But however, if they get something in return for their loss, well, should Washington maybe pursue a trade? Now, Deron Payne still has a year left on his contract. Washington won't cut him outright, but could the Washington football team use him as trade bait for, well, maybe a quarterback next season? You know, maybe at least to sweeten the pot a bit? This could be how Washington secures a quarterback who could possibly lead this team back to the playoffs, especially if the team doesn't love any of the top quarterbacks in the 2022 NFL Draft. But are we reading too much into this whole Instagram thing? I mean, after all, Payne's Twitter account is still decorated with plenty of Washington football imagery. And anytime you get your tail kicked as badly as the football team did and against a longtime rival, well, that quite frankly, that's going to sting. It is intriguing to wonder, however, if Payne might be trade bait. Washington does not need any more distractions than it already has. And if there are cracks forming in the relationship between Payne and the football team, well, then it's best to jettison him as soon as possible, get something in return for Deron Payne, and seek to solidify his position in next year's draft. One thing is for sure, this season has been a roller coaster season for the Washington football team. A lot of highs, a lot of lows, a lot of adversity, and there's still two games left. If the team can win their last two games of the season, well, I would call that a success for a team that has lost a lot of talent this season and an injury. Now, while certainly a major disappointment to not make the playoffs after a year of being division champions, the team has fought hard from start to finish. Maybe as fans, we, I don't know, maybe we might need to take a, a step back and see that, well, we need to be just a little bit more patient. So what do you think about the whole situation with Deron Payne? Should the team trade him? Should we smooth things over a bit? Or you know, do we keep him for the long haul? Give him a new contract? I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Give it a share. If you enjoyed this channel, please consider subscribing to the Washington Football Maniacs channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Hell to the Washington football team. Let's go Maniacs.